The surge of the Delta variant is giving many people anxiety. And as we return to those feelings of uncertainty about the future, many people need help. The mental strain of the unpredictable changes can impact us all, and health professionals do want you to find ways to cope with this. Asha Staples is joining us live now with some helpful tips from the experts because a lot of people are struggling with this news and uncertainty. Asha. They definitely are, Shiva. And doctors say that they want you to know that you're not alone. There's so many people that are having these same feelings as you are. The best thing to do is just to be mindful and also seek professional help if you think that you need it. Uh, since March of 2020, anger, hopelessness, loss, and frustration has all been emotions that we have felt. The national rollout of the vaccine offered some type of hope, and many of us thought by now we'd be in a better place. The COVID case numbers, economy was slowly opening back up. But now those previous emotions are starting to creep back in once again. For many, than, for more than a year now, many of us have carried heavy emotions and left feeling exhausted. Doctors say that it is okay to feel those emotions, even if they don't feel good. And Dr. Christopher Leger with Toro Infirmary says the best thing to do is to find ways to release stress and find joy. And he continues to encourage vaccination so we can get back to the real normal life. As I continue to hear from our leaders, and I completely agree with, get vaccinated and wear a mask in an appropriate setting and you'll stay safe. And while these events, you know, I think they can still go on this fall if we do our duty here. You know, if we start masking again in appropriate situations now, those that aren't vaccinated get out there and start that series, which will be completed in the next month. Um, then we can have these events in the fall because this latest surge will be quieted down by then. And Dr. Leje suggests, suggests methods of stress relief like journaling, exercising, and of course, again, to be mindful of your emotions. And also, once again, if you do need professional help, do not be afraid to go out and seek it. Live at Toro Infirmary, Asha Staples, Eyewitness News.